What's up, guys? Once again, Alan Roberts of Every Damn Day Fitness is back at it, going after none other than Vince of V Shred. Those of you who follow the YouTube fitness industry will know Alan has gone after Vince for the last year or so, basically pointing out similarities. <coughs> if you will, in what Vince was showing with regards to what Jeff Cavallari of Athlean X had shown in the past, in that Vince seemingly was copying Jeff's Athlean X videos. Those of you who don't know, Athlean X is the largest, most credible YouTube channel in the fitness genre. Alan Roberts has pointed out that Vince's videos were eerily, eerily similar to what Jeff had been putting out years and years ago. It seemed to be a whole database of videos that were very similar to what Jeff had previously done. Alan, Alan dug a little deeper and started to point out more flaws in what Vince was showing to his audience, and Alan was citing that this is dangerous. Really, this is dangerous. I've been following Alan's channel for a while. I find it entertaining and informative. And I, I was shocked a year or two ago when I realized Alan Roberts was probably the one man on YouTube who used the F word more than I do. Now, you know that I have cleaned up my use of the F bombs and the S bombs and the bleep and bleep and bleep bombs, though I'm fixing to go back to that. But since January 1st, I had cleaned it up as a bet, as a dare. I'm about to wipe that away. But I digress. So Alan, once again, has now challenged Vince to a debate. What happened? Well, let me show you right now. What's going on, guys? This is Vince with vshred.com. And in today's video, I'm going to take you through a follow-along six-minute hit workout that is going to blast calories from your body and hi Vince I, I would love to hear how this six minute workout which by the way is three exercises done 40 40 seconds a piece with 20 seconds rest in fucking between I want I want to know how that's going to blast calories to begin with because you're gonna spend the first minute or two actually getting your heart rate up as a matter of fact I invite Vince Sant to do a live interview with me on the In My Opinion Course podcast. Uh, Vince, I would love to speak with you on your dramatic knowledge, you dumb ass motherfucker. And that's just my two cents a matter. You see, Alan cannot wrap his head around the ability of a six minute workout to incinerate body fat, to burn body fat, to really burn any fat. And is it, is it total? calories is it fat calories and go through the link below watch alan's video link below watch v shreds video to be fair and you make the decision now what i wanted to do is i wanted to sprinkle a little science into this conversation and we will do that by first going and looking at this study which i am calling the spearlick study and in this study the authors, the researchers, the scientists, they wanted to determine if six minutes of high-intensity exercise would have an impact on the individual. And this study was a comprehensive look into how six minutes of exercise, two minutes of a warm-up, and four minutes of high-intensity interval training, nearly identical to what Vince is suggesting. Does this have fat incinerating properties? Well, let's go and see what the science says. So I want to be clear here that the protocol for the high intensity interval training was six minutes of exercise, a two minute warm up, and four minutes of high intensity interval training, similar to a Tabata method using calisthenics. Good to know. What exercises were used? Well, let me show you right here. Squats, running in place, more squats, jogging in place, lunges with jumps, jogging in place, lunges with more jumps, jogging in place, intervals, the calisthenic nature, the body weight conditioning nature, the higher intensity nature of the body weight motions, followed by lower intensity jogging in place. So now we know the exercises, but really what we want to know is what were the results. And let's break this down for you. Is Alan just barking up the wrong tree? Is Alan Roberts being a bully? 
Is he just screaming and shouting and, and, and just going after poor Vince? Or is Vince putting out misleading information? Well, what does the science say? The conclusion is, after six minutes of high-intensity interval training, the difference in total calories burned, it equated to a total 765 additional calories burned per week. Now, wait, wait, wait. Let's back this up for a second. I want this to be very clear. So sitting and doing absolutely nothing for three hours would burn approximately 238 calories. Sitting, doing nothing for two hours and 54 minutes, and then exercising intensely for six minutes would burn 347 calories. That's approximately 109 additional calories burned through that six minutes of activity. Well, that's not that bad. I mean, that's something, it's more, but six minutes of high-intensity interval training would burn maybe 100 calories, maybe 100 calories. 100 calories, I mean, that, that's, that's a breath mint or, or a few. 100 calories, that's a few sips of uh, many of the carbonated drinks that you guys have. 100 calories is, is, is budget dust, as they say, with regards to your overall expenditure and dietary intake. If someone came to me and they said, hey, Dolce, I want to lose weight. I want to feel better. I want to get in shape. I'm only going to perform six minutes of exercise per day, but it'll be high intensity exercise. I will say, man, you are high. You don't know what you're talking about. Six minutes of intense exercise, that's a good start, but that is not going to incinerate fat. That is not really going to do anything unless it is just you doing something after having done absolutely nothing. If you say Sunday and for the 10 years before Sunday, I've done nothing. On Monday, I'll perform six minutes of exercise. On Tuesday, I'll do seven minutes. On Wednesday, I'll do eight minutes. On Thursday, I'll do nine minutes. On Friday, I'll do 10 minutes. And so on and so forth throughout the year, I'll start to increase load scale. Then I'll say, high five, you are well on your way. But if you say, hey, I watched this YouTube video of this dude who's in really great shape and does have awesome hair, and he said, I only need to work out six minutes a day to burn body fat, I will say you were deceived. So I'd love to see the debate. I'd love to see Alan talk to Vince, and maybe Vince knows something we don't know. And let's say, let's, let's be fair here. The kid's in great shape. With, with respect, Vince is in great shape. He looks awesome. Not, 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 not my cup of tea. A little, little too light. I don't know if he's pushing 170 plus pounds, but hey, that's okay. But that's okay. He's in shape. You got to give him credit for that. But being in shape doesn't mean you know how to get in shape, nor does it mean you know how to teach other people how to get in shape. And that's the truth of it. And I understand in YouTube, you have to fill time. You have to fill content. I'm sitting here filling content, talking about two other dudes. But that's okay, because that's what we do. I thought this information was helpful. I wanted to use Alan and Vince's conversation to illustrate the point that six minutes is ridiculous. Health, fitness, fat loss, wellness, longevity is a lifestyle approach. Get rid of the quick fixes, get rid of the fads, get rid of the exclusionary dietary practices, and just start living a healthy life, making small daily decisions to move the chains down the field. That's what this is. Be accountable, be responsible. That's how we do it. Leave a thumbs up for this video, guys and gals. I really would appreciate that. A thumbs up does help this channel grow. And that's the one thing I will ask you for all of this amazing sage advice. Until next time, boom.